If you own an iPod or an iPhone and you use that device for music, then you've probably built up quite an extensive library um, over time. And what you may have realized, or perhaps maybe a bit too late, is that if something happens to your computer, and specifically iTunes, perhaps you format your computer and reinstall iTunes, you'll find that you cannot resync your iPod with your computer anymore. And what that means is, is that of course you cannot add new music to your iPod, which can become quite annoying. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to um, copy all of your music library from your iPod or your iPhone so you can resync your iPod or iPhone with your new iTunes um, installation. Now we're going to be using a free software called Sync iOS to actually connect and import your uh, entire music library from your iPod or your iPhone to a specified folder on your computer where we can actually then use to um, import your entire library back into iTunes to resync with your iPod. Now, um, before we can actually get started, um, there's going to be a direct link in um, the description of this video, or alternatively, you can just visit our official website, which is simpletut.com. And once you're on our website, just simply browse over to our freebies section where you can download the installation for this software. All you have to do is go to the freebies section and look for the Sync iOS download. Um, and once you are here, you can simply download the software, which is, of course, a third party software. But um, you can download it to your computer and install it easily. OK, so let's get started with the tutorial. So I've got Sync iOS installed on my computer, which you can, of course, um, go ahead and install. Once you have it installed, um, all you have to do is launch it and then connect your um, your iPod or your iPhone with the uh, your computer. OK, so once your iPod is connected up, you can come over to Media. And as you can see, this is your entire library. This is all of the music that is on your um, iPod. So all you have to do is select this box, which is going to check all of the music. And then you simply want to select Export. And then you can basically select a path. So as you can see, I've created a folder in my My Music folder called Ashley's iPod. So I'm just going to select that folder and click on OK, and then click on Export and it's going to go ahead and export all of the music from my iPod to the folder that I just specified. Okay, so I'm just going to come over to show you. So if I go into the folder that I just exported the music to, you can see that my entire library has been um, exported. Um, so I can actually click on all these songs. Uh, I can play them on my computer, uh, but what I can also do relevant to this tutorial is import them back into my iTunes. Okay, so obviously I don't have to do this because I, I already have my music in here, but to basically import that music back, all you have to do is click on add file to library, and then obviously select the folder that you exported your music to, and then I'm just gonna select all of the music in the folder, which you can simply do by uh, holding Control clicking Control A on your keyboard and then click on open to actually import all that music back into your iTunes. Now once it is there, um, you can easily connect back your um, iPod, your iPhone and then resync it with your uh, new iTunes installation. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and thank you very much for watching. I'd just like to encourage you to visit our official community website, simpletut.com. This is where we post all of our tutorials, including that on web development, computing, and even photography, but much more. Uh, some of our most popular tutorials include building a MySQL user registration system, but we also have PHP classes. I've shown you in videos how to uh, develop your own responsive website layouts content management systems, there's tutorials on social networking, e-commerce, and much more. But this is a fantastic learning resource and it does not stop there. We also have a ask a question area on our website where you can post a question about 
this or any other tutorial or perhaps even a project of your own. We also have a blog and a freebies section which you can use to access even more content. Now before you go, I'd just like to encourage you to actually um, like our Facebook page because this is a fantastic way for you to stay in, in contact with us. As we release new freebies, new tutorials, we will post them on our Facebook page and you can even make uh, suggestions for future tutorials all on our Facebook page. But before you go, I would just like to encourage you to check out one of our latest projects, cssmenucreator.com. Now this is a fantastic resource for you. It cuts your development time and makes building websites even easier um, because what it does is it writes the code for you when it comes to CSS menus. You can select from our growing range of uh, pre-built CSS menus, use the built-in uh, application to actually uh, build your menu and create your different options for your menu, and then you can actually uh, install that menu on your own website within Dreamweaver or whatever web application you're using to build your website. You just simply copy and paste the code into the website and we have video tutorials show you how to do it on a step-by-step -step basis. I would just like to say that uh, if you would like to make a contribution to our project, then we really would appreciate it. There is a donation button on simpletat.com uh, which you can use to make a contribution to a project. This is also a great opportunity for me to tell you about um, our official website siteeasy.com and there'll be a link in the description of this video. This is where we sell a huge range of pre-built websites and scripts and offer custom web design services. Some of our pre-built websites include a pre-built social networking website, um, e-commerce, content management. Um, these all include um, free installations and we offer much more such as property listings or file upload. Um, so it's a great uh, resource for anyone looking for a one-stop solution um, for your, uh, your project. We also offer a number of pre-built PHP scripts which is growing all the time. Um, and these are applications which you can incorporate into your website, such as the pre-built user registration system, digital goods for PayPal, billing systems, comment systems, contact forms, and much more. And all of these scripts can be incorporated into your existing website. They're completely pre-built and you can simply copy and paste them and upload them to your server immediately uh, once you've downloaded them. If you do have any questions, would like to get in touch, perhaps have a custom uh, job, uh, web, de web development project uh, you'd like us to help you with, then please get in touch using any of our websites. We all have, uh, we have contact forms on all of our websites. You can contact us via Facebook. Uh, again, I'd also like to recommend that you like, uh, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.